what's up YouTube uh, in this video I want to talk about the whole feminist um, shit once again um, and this it's not necessarily talking about black women who are feminists but just about women in general um, your average woman is not a feminist you have some who claim they are and you know you can tell rather quickly that they're not and you have some who do a good job about trying to perpetrate but after you spend a couple, you know, conversations with them and, you know, spend some time with them, you realize that they're not, you know, I have plenty of homegirls who are, you know, like that. Most college women, um, they kind of want to act like that, but, you know, they're really not. And it's not a negative thing. It's just that a lot of women, you don't understand, um, what, you know these feminist women are you don't understand their lifestyle all right it's just easy to say oh you know what I mean because I have a job um, I'm a feminist or I'm this and I'm that and you're, you're really not because a feminist means in a nutshell their whole you know if you can sum up their ideologies it's that you don't need a man to do anything literally you don't need a man to do anything for you we can do everything on our own we don't the woman's role is inferior so honestly if you want to be nitty-gritty you can't be a traditional woman and be a feminist at the same time it doesn't work like that all right your average woman needs a good dude in their life just like every good dude needs um, a good woman in his life and there's nothing wrong with saying that you can be college educated and not be a feminist but the issue I want to say um, in regards to this is just that a lot of women fuck up primarily because you have your homegirls telling you, oh, you know, you need to be single and independent. You have your moms telling you, oh, you need to be single and independent and be able to support yourself, right? And all that does, honestly, it doesn't, you know, convince the girl that, hey, I can be anything. I can be an astronaut. I could be a lawyer. Like, and that would be cool if it really did that. But you know all that does? All this whole, oh, I'm a feminist, oh, you got to be able to look out for yourself. All that means is I have a green light to date whoever I want. Because if I'm taking care of myself and I'm doing everything I have to do, hey, I can date whoever I want because I don't need him for anything. And that's, in my opinion, that's the whole rationale behind this feminist bullshit. Women, you know, are always looking for a reason to kind of date the guy that they know they're not supposed to be dating. They need a reason. For instance, for black women, you know, they'll say all men are dogs. They'll just say it. So what does that mean? Well, then I can date whoever because all men are dogs. That's their justification. Alright? So women are always looking for that excuse. And they use feminism as one of them. Oh, if I have my own car, I have my own house, I have my own job, all I need for you to do is, you know, <clears throat> at least, you know, work. <clears throat> Alright? And if that was working for y'all, I wouldn't be doing this video. But it's not, because you guys are not feminists like that. You guys are normal, traditional women um, who may or may not work hard, but need a good dude in their life, pure and simple. So all what's happening, especially with black women, is that, you know, a lot of them be on this, I'm a feminist tip, right? So, and just like I said before, all that means is I can date whoever. And so they're dating guys that they know they're not supposed to be dating. And they end up catching feelings. And this is, this, it happens almost in every case. To end up liking a dude who's really not doing much. Um, and it turns into some ugly. Regardless of what, whatever they're doing with their lives, they're still not happy. Because they need a dude in their life who's actually doing something. Who can actually support a family. It's the mindset behind it. I have no problem with, you know, women working and being just a professional. That's cool. But the issue is, psychologically, women still need that safety net that comes from a man. To know that, hey, if I get pregnant or um, if I have to take maternity leave, that our house is not going to get foreclosed, they're not going to repossess our cars, and, you know, all that other shit. Alright? So, in a sense, every woman needs that. That man to hold it down, just in case. Not to say that it shouldn't work, but just in case shit happens. When my parents together, the same shit happened. Both my parents worked, but my mom went back to school, 
and my dad had to hold it down. It's that kind of shit I'm talking about. That's why your every your average woman <clears throat> needs a good dude in their lives to hold it down. And a lot of women are forgetting this because the feminist shit doesn't tell you that. It tells you that you don't need a man for anything, just you know, to satisfy you sexually. And you know, black women have fallen a hook, line, and finger for that. You know, that line. All right. And so the point of this video, I'm trying to let women know, is just that, you know, be careful. Um, being independent. When people say being independent, you're talking about being independent from your fucking parents. And you don't need your parents to support you. That's what saying, hey, I'm independent means. It doesn't mean that, oh, I don't need a man. Or I can date whoever I want to date. Because all you guys are doing is catching feelings for the wrong dudes. Because you're not understanding your own psychology. Honestly. And especially for black women, you know what I mean? I, I know a lot of black women, you know, do go through their fair share of hurts. And it's because, quite frankly, they don't take the time to understand their own psychology. But the thugs and the gangsters, you know, they understand that shit. If they applied that shit to, you know freaking education shit they'd be you know BA's masters shit it's probably some PhD cause they living and living well actually some of them so they understand your psychology and you guys don't or you know in my opinion the great majority don't so I think a lot of women need to get off the whole I don't need a man for everything because in a sense you do no man can ever say, when have men, okay, men have been, you know, going to college and doing whatever, you know, since I don't know when. Alright, so, we've always been independent, you, you know, in the same sense that women say it. But have we ever told a woman I'm independent? So I don't need you? No, we haven't, because we know we need a woman there. Especially black men. So, I mean, I think, you know, women in general, you need to reevaluate yourselves. Stop listening to um, Tyra Banks and all these other women, and they bring on these specialists and, you know, these doctors and these PhDs, and they fill your guys' heads with all this bullshit. Alright? You need a man. But you meet needing a man does not make you dependent on him. So, in closing... Don't let the whole I'm independent, you know, give you the false assumption that you can date whoever. Because in the end, all you're doing is catching feelings for a guy who can't provide you what you need emotionally and mentally and physically from a man. Regardless of what you're doing on your own. Regardless. Tell me how you feel. Thanks.